Here's a geography moment. What are the five themes of geography? In no order they are location, place, human environment interaction, region, and movement. Okay, let's take a look at location. Location is the position of a place on the Earth's surface, in other words, where you are on the planet Earth. There are two types of location. One is absolute location, the other is relative location. Absolute location is using latitude and longitude coordinates to find your exact spot on Earth. Relative location means giving your location in relation to other places, like if you said, I'm down the road a ways, or I'm next to the post office. Next up is place. Place is an area that is defined by everything in it. All places have features that give them personality and distinguish them from other places. A place can be defined by many things, such as the landform of a place, the types of plants found there, the types of animals who live in the place, even the type of weather patterns of the place. A place can even be defined by the language spoken there. Third on my list is human environment interaction. Human environment interaction looks at the relationships between the people and their environment. How people adapt to their environment. How do they change it? A couple of examples. How do people depend on their environment? Well, in ancient times, the annual flooding of the Nile River produced good soil, which allowed the Egyptians to grow crops in order to survive. So they depended on their environment. How do people adapt? Those same ancient Egyptians had to rebuild their homes each year after the annual flooding. But as time went on, they adapted and started to build their homes above the floodplain. How do people modify the environment? The ancient Egyptians learned to build irrigation ditches, which led to watering crops without waiting for the annual flood. In modern times, the Egyptians built a dam to control the floodwaters of the Nile River. Fourth on my list is region. A region is an area that is defined by certain similar characteristics. Those unifying or similar characteristics can be physical, natural, human, or cultural, such as the landform of the region, natural resources found in the region. A region can even be defined by the language or say the type of food eaten in the region. The Rocky Mountain region is a large area in the United States. It can be defined as a region because of the mountains located there. Also, it's a region because of the large ranching that's done there. It can also be a region because of all the natural resources that are mined in those mountains. Last on my list is movement. Movement refers to the way people, products, information, and ideas move from one place to another. This can be local, such as, how did you get to school today? Or it can be global, such as, how did humans get to North America? The Internet has greatly changed this theme because of how information, news, ideas can be moved instantaneously across the entire globe. Where a news story may have taken hours or even days to travel around the world, those same stories can be seen all over the earth almost as they happen. I hope this has helped explain a little bit about the five themes of geography because that's your geography moment.